Greetings world. We are anonymous. With the disappearance of those on Malaysian Airlines MH370, billionaire, Jacob Rothschild, becomes the sole owner, of an important semiconductor patent. Coincidence? I think not. The mystery surrounding Malaysian airliner, MH370, continues to grow with each passing day, and Mr. Rothschild, is smack dab in the middle. Illuminati member, Rothschild, is believed to have exploited the airliner, to gain full patent rights of an incredible KL-03 microchip. The US technological company, Freescale Semiconductor, who shared its rights with Rothschild, had 20 senior members on board, who had just launched a new electronic warfare gadget, for military radar systems, the day before the plane went missing. The semiconductor company develops microprocessors, sensors, and other technology, including standalone semiconductors, that perform dedicated computing functions. But the questions that arise are, why were there, so many Freescale employees traveling together? What were their jobs? Their mission? And did the employees carry valuable cargo? With all the power our relief carry, why couldn't they track down the missing plane? Of the 239 people aboard flight MH370, most of them, were engineers, working to make the company's chip facilities in Xi'anjin, China, and Kuala Lumpur, more efficient. These were people with a lot of experience, and technical background, and they were very important people, Hawes said. It is definitely a loss for the company. Mitch Hawes, Vice President of Global Communications, and Investors Relations. According to the Freescale's website, operations for the company began in 1972, and covered an 8-hectare site, that tests, and manufactures microprocessors, digital signal processors, and integrated radio frequency circuits. Furthermore, it owns Freescale RF, which is involved in making solutions for aerospace, and defense, including, battlefield communications, avionics, HF radar, band L and S, missile guidance, electronic warfare, and identification IFF. But here's where it gets even more interesting. The Freescale's shareholders, include the Carlyle Group, whose past advisors, have included ex-US President, George Bush Sr., and former British Prime Minister, John Major. Some of the company's previous clients, include the construction firm, owned by the family of Osama Bin Laden, the Saudi Bin Laden Group. What makes this claim stand out above all the other theories, is the fact, that so many highly qualified staff members, were on board, and if the airliner crashed into the Indian Ocean, as recently reported, then this would validate the claim, all the more. Considering the large passenger jet, had flown undetected for six hours, the elites had to be involved, because they are the only ones who can accomplish such a task. According to World Truth TV, Avoiding radar via cloaking technology, has long been one of the objectives, of the defense industry, and Freescale has been active developing chips, for military radar. On its website, the company says, its radio frequency products, meet the requirements for applications, in avionics, radar, communications, missile guidance, electronic warfare, and identification, friend, or foe. The company announced, that it was creating a team of specialists, dedicated to producing radio frequency power products, for the defense industry. They also announced, it was releasing 11 of these new gadgets, for use in high frequency, VHF, and low band UHF radar, and radio communications. The company, Freescale, did not respond to questions from Express Online, including, whether any of its missing employees, had been working on the defense products. It neither provided any responses, to the latest bizarre conspiracy theory, being widely published on the comments sections, of newspaper websites, and other internet forums. Some comments read, have you pieced together the puzzle of missing flight 370 to Beijing, China? If not, here are your missing pieces. Four days after the flight MH370 disappearance, semiconductor patent, was approved by the US Patent Office. Patent is divided in parts, of 20% between five starters. One of the owners, is the company itself, 
Freescale Semiconductor, Austin, Texas, USA, and the other four Chinese employees of the company, Pi Dan Wang, Zijin Chen, Cheng, and Liang Zijing, all the Suzhou city. And they all were passengers of Malaysia Airlines plane that disappeared on March 8th, according to Eternity. It adds, here is your motive for the missing Beijing plane. As all four Chinese members of the patent were passengers on the missing plane. Patent holders can alter the proceeds legally by passing wealth to their heirs. However, they cannot do so until the patent is approved. So when the plane went missing, the patent had not been approved. Although, a freescale patent exists under number US 86503327, none of the names listed actually appear on the passenger manifest released by the Malaysian authorities. If the patent holder dies, the other owners share equally in dividends from the deceased. If four of the five patentees die, then the patentee left alive gets 100% of the patent. That remaining patent holder is the company Freescale Semiconductor. Who owns Freescale Semiconductor? The answer is Jacob Rothschild. British billionaire owns the company Blackstone, which in turn owns the company Freescale Semiconductors. Several speculations on the internet now are paying attention to this circumstance. The Rothschilds are a dynasty of financiers and international bankers of German Jewish origin. The family is from the 19th century, one of the most influential families of bankers and financiers of Europe. Is this just another coincidence? I don't think so. Rothschild is hiding evidence to gain the rights to this semiconductor. He wants power and he wants his money. It may have taken 239 deaths to do it, but to him, that is just part of population control. In the end, he gets his money, his fame, and his power. All while the world remains silent. Or so they thought. Time to expose this fraud, for who he really is. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To all Rothschild's bloodline. We will be hunting all of you. Expect that.